Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Today we're looking at Psalm 63, verses 10 and 11. I hope that uh, you've been enjoying Psalm 63. It's really a treat, isn't it? Such a delight, this psalm. Um, We're looking now at 10 and 11. Again, we have verse 3, which sort of is, is is the, the dye in the water. It colors everything now. We've seen it all the way from verse 3 now, all the way down do you think we'll see it in 10 and 11? I kind of think so. Um, and I'll, again, I'll try not to be too pushy about it, but I just want you to keep that in your head. Because thy loving kindness is better than life. That's the first phrase in verse 3. Because of that, then everything else he says here is in light of that. Verse 10, They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. So here we have verse 10, the they, they shall fall by the sword. We have to go back up to verse 9 and pick this up. Those that seek my soul to destroy it. So the soul destroyers, the soul seeker destroyers. Yeah, those people. They're the ones that are going to fall by the sword. Why? verse 3. You see, verse 3 even applies to the enemy. It applies to the enemy because the enemy is going to fall. Those that are perverse, who don't uh, believe that there is a God, who say there is no God, those, the wicked, who we find described for us in Psalm 10, and we have other descriptions of them throughout the Psalms leading up to where we are right now, those people who are trying to destroy and tread down the righteous so that they can climb up to God and see if they can't discredit his name and his good work. Those people, those people are the ones who will be destroyed because of the loving kindness that is better than life. Yeah, they shall be a portion for foxes. And of course, you know what that means, right? They're going to be little pieces left left around on the ground and the foxes will come out in the evening and they'll find them. Verse 11 is the contrast. But, but the king shall rejoice in God. All right, who are we talking about here? The king. Well, let's go back up to verse 1. O God, thou art my God. So he's going to rejoice in God. So this is verse 3. My lips shall praise thee because of his loving kindness. But the king shall rejoice in God. Of course, he's talking about himself, but I think he's also talking about Messiah here, the king, the one who's coming. So David refers to himself. I think he also refers to his progeny, who will be Jesus that comes. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. Who is he talking about? He's not talking about himself now, is he? No, he's talking about, he's talking about the Lord Jesus there. Everyone that sweareth by him. The king shall rejoice in God, everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them them that speak lies shall be stopped. Now again, isn't it interesting that the great weapon of the wicked is not their sword, it's not their arm, but the great weapon of the wicked that we continue to see repeated over and over and over again in the Psalms is their mouth, what they say. That's their great weapon. And here it comes out again. So the king is rejoicing. Everyone that swears by him, that is God or the king Messiah, shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies. Those that speak lies, why? how come it's them speaking? Because you see, that's what they do. It's their mouth that continues to get them in trouble. We see this also in the New Testament with some of the folks that were warned about in the New Testament, what they come saying. And so if they're speaking lies, they shall be stopped because thy loving kindness is better than life. There, I said it. All right, join me again next week, and we'll look at Psalm 64 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.